Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer courtesy of Robert Seth. Thank you so much. This is Hedge Witch from Modern Times. Um, really cool design on there. And this is a double IPA, Amarillo and Citra. Let's dig into this. So I didn't really know, but I guess Modern Times is doing, doing the full on haze game. Uh, super, super hazy beer, completely opaque. Comes in a medium gold color. Let's get the aroma on this one. Ooh, that's fire. It's very fruity. Um, fresh orange slices, mango, a little bit of depth of like that just hop character, kind of green um, herb hop character that sort of just like takes over the nose a little bit. Some candied pineapple maybe, just really rushing of just familiar big intensity of citrus and tropical uh, citra. And the Amarillo in there playing some um, uh, fruity citrus notes. Cheers. Ooh, ha, that's good. Wow. Um, so what I like to do, I mean, there's so many New England style IPAs that I've reviewed now, and I always try to draw analogies, like not being familiar with the hazy IPAs that Modern Times makes. I try to associate with something else. And this one, I sort of think of like LIC Beer Project a little bit, some of the really, really fruity um, other half beers that have come out. Straight up would never have guessed it came from the West Coast. Um, there you go, everybody's doing the style. And uh, it does get a little similar sometimes. Oh, big rush of just like, you know, yellow mango slices. And, and there is a little bit of light kind of like grittiness on there. So it might be a lot of like hot matter slash yeast uh, left in the beer. And so I'm getting a little bit of tongue scraping action. It's offering a little bit of astringency on the back end, but I've had much worse and it's not that offensive. At 9%, this beer is absolutely dangerous. Would never have guessed it's 9%. Really drinks more towards a maybe 7.5 uh, beer. Maybe eight. Mouth feels actually pretty um, gentle for 9%, really not detecting much of the alcohol. Medium mouth feel. The drying really helps make the beer perceived as lighter. A little bit of breadiness in the middle. And again, just like just straight bomb of citra, mango, orange driving on the palate. There's a light velvetiness up front, but then as you wait more, that kind of green hop character that I was talking about sort of envelops the palate. That's the aftertaste you sort of get. Absolutely fantastic beer. Um, I would drink this one a little colder because I'm scared that with a little bit more warmth, that kind of hop astringency sort of gets a little bit more and more and more intense. And again, I've had worse, but I still really like it. I'm starting to knock these beer for, beers for having that kind of uh, flavor profile or perception on the palate. Let's go with a, um, you know what? This is a flight beer. It's not one that you want to necessarily crush a whole 16 ounces of because of that uh, quality, but it's got such an explosive nose. Appearance is fantastic. The flavors are really nice. It's sort of like a, you know, four to eight ounce kind of beer. 94 from me. Until next time. Cheers. Later.